Hey guys, my name is Micah, and I'm a uh, intern here at the Bible College in Japan. And so, pretty much, I just work here. I help with the church, and I help with the Bible College too.、Um, and and today, I just wanted to share a portion of scripture that's really just、uh, ministered to me a lot over the years,、um, and, and especially lately.、Um, and that's that's Habakkuk、um, chapter three, verses seventeen through nineteen. Um, and so the purpose of me just、um, sharing with you guys today is that you would have、um, faith that God can and will rescue you、um, from all your trials and and from all the things that you're going through, right? And that you would have faith, and that that faith would just produce this joy and this peace throughout your life, right? And so in this section, right, Habakkuk will 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 see that basically Habakkuk will rejoice. Um, and he will wait patiently for the day of his rescue, even though all of his circumstances and all of the things that he's going through, right? They look bleak. And so, right, we all know what it's like to、uh, just be facing an army of problems, right? Like all of these things, this overwhelming, right, stress, anxiety, fear. It's these are common emotions, right? Every single human being on this planet has experienced those things. Feeling overwhelmed, feeling abandoned, or afraid of of what comes next, right? Fear is is such a common emotion. But this section is really it's a prayer by this this guy Habakkuk, and it's it's his petition to God for salvation, for safety. And, and this this last section of this book is a prayer to God about all of these things that Habakkuk is dealing with, and so. It's extremely attributable and appl- applicable to the things that、um, we deal with on a daily basis, right? We all need help from God、um, throughout our day, and so this is a perfect portion for us. And so, in this section,、uh, verses,、uh, chapter three, verses seventeen to nineteen, says this: Even though the fig trees have blossomed, I have no blossoms, and there are no grapes on the vine. Even though the olive crops fail. And the fields lie empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the fields and the cattle barns are empty. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord; I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The Sovereign Lord is my strength; He makes me as sure-footed as a deer, able to tread upon the heights. And so there's this this phrase, right? He says, "Even though three,、uh, yeah, three times," he says. Even though the crops have failed, even though there's not a single budding flower, even though there are no animals left, right? There's all of these things that he's worried about, that he's going through, all of these circumstances that look bleak, right? He's frustrated. He's he's afraid of of all these crops failing, and there's no animals left. How will he eat, right? He's there's these things that he's dealing with, right? But he says, even though three times, even though、um, everything around him looks hopeless. Um, even though he can't necessarily w- see what God is going to do, right? He is willing to wait、uh, for God to save him, right? Habakkuk two four says that the just shall live by faith, and that's really a key verse to this whole entire book, showing that the emphasis、um, of the book is faith. And so, Habakkuk is showing us right to have faith not only that the Lord can save you,、um, but that He will. And so, the important thing is to focus on faith and have the faith to stop focusing on、um, the circumstances or the things that you're dealing with, but instead focus on God, His love and His strength. Right? I think sometimes、um, it's easy to think, you know, I know that God is good and I know that He's the God of salvation. He's strong and He can. Right? But but it's easy to think sometimes maybe He just won't for me. Maybe my circumstances are. Not something he's worried about, or or they're too big for him, or he doesn't care enough about me, or I'm too bad, right? But Habakkuk knew that this was the wrong attitude, right? We need to have faith not only that God can save us from the day-to-day things that we're going through, but we need to have faith that He will, right? And we do this by making a conscious decision to focus not on the little circumstances or the things that we're dealing with or the reasons why. Um, everything's going to fail, or everything's going to fall apart. But instead of focusing on those things, we need to focus on God, and, and that He will get us through, and that He is good, and and we can have peace and joy through those things.、Um, 
each one of us deals with really a huge range of problems every single day, right? Uh, we have fears, anxieties, uh, fears about the future, um, you name it, right? We all deal with things. And sometimes we can get hopeless, right? We can feel like we're alone in our problems. Um, but the point of this section is to show us um, that, that God loves us, right? The purpose is that you would know that God loves you and that he's not abandoned you, right? He will get you through it. And you can rejoice um, that no matter what's happening in your life right now, you know, we all have so many things that are going on in our life, but you can rejoice regardless of how bad it seems um, because you can know that God is good and that he is for you. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you, if you like this kind of style, um, feel free to like and subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos like this. Um, we, we kind of, our heart behind this video series is to um, just share with you the things that the Lord puts on our hearts through our daily devotions and through um, just our life pursuing God and, and pursuing um, just His voice. And so I really just want to encourage you guys um, to just to have your own devotional life and, and to read your Bible every day. I, I used to hate that, um, being told that all the time, but honestly, if you read the Bible every day, the Lord will speak to you through it. And that's a promise. So I just want to encourage you guys uh, today. And so thanks for watching.